in his 33 straight wins. Introducing and let us welcome Julio Cesar Chavez. To the bottom on my right, fighting out of the white corner, wearing gold trunks with the green stripe. Also from Mexico, hailing from Chiapas. An even 134 pounds, a veteran of 14, I should say, 15, 19 professional fights, Romero Sandoval. John Thomas, referee, will now give instructions. Larry Rosadilla, numero judging at ringside. All right, so John Thomas calls him to the center of the ring. Let's see if we can hear what he's saying. Pick up too much, but he's reviewing the rules as far as headbutts are concerned inside of three rounds. The Now we can pick it up a bit. That should break no wrestling, just come back clean. All right, let's shake hands, spots. All right, here we go. These will be lightweights. Julio Cesar Chavez in the blue trunks coming from the lower right hand corner of your screen against Romero Sandoval. Here we go. Now Chavez at the top of the show I mentioned is the fella 33 and 0 with 32 knockouts. I'm unable to find him ranked in the ring magazine boxing illustrated or by the WBC or WBA so he must be some kind of fighter with uh, 32 knockouts and 33 fights. That's Julio Cesar Chavez in the blue trunks. Now Romero Sandoval is 15 and 4 hails from right here in Los Angeles. Earlier this year we saw him against the seventh ranked Livingston Bramble. Bramble beat him on a ninth round TKO that was on the Jerry could see a Pinkland Thomas fight. Point must scoring system. Again, Chavez and Blue, Sandoval, and the brown and green. It's almost golden green. Sandoval's a good fighter. He's been in with some of the best in his division. The book on Chavez, of course, excellent right hand. Why with the left hook. This is round one, scheduled 10 round lightweight fight. Chavez in at 133 and a half. Sandoval, 135. Sandoval has a inch in height advantage. A little bit in reach, but nothing to really talk about. Chavez, almost the classic boxer, continues to bob. There's the right hand. You saw that get through there. Sandoval has got to keep his left hand high and in front of his chin, and that right hand of Chavez will get through. When he tickets it for the head, it scores. He works off his left hook. There's the wild right hand that time. Sandoval has got to keep jabbing and keep him off him, or Chavez will nail him. 32 times out of his 33 fights when he's nailed them, they have stayed nailed. Very alert looking is Julio Cesar Chavez in the blue trunks. Very business oriented type fighter. Left hook scores in the head. Right hand, sneaky right hand gets through. Light left. Chavez works down with kind of a hook with that left hand and he's always looking for the opportunity to drop the right. If you see Sandoval drop down with that right hand of his, you're going to see a left hook and a right hand fly right on him. Chavez showed me a lot in that uh, first round. He only cut loose a couple of times. We're in his corner now. Good looking kid. 22, 23 years old. There he is wild with the left hook, but not too wild. As he catches him on the jaw, spins his head, and Sandoval moves back away. This is Sandoval now. Small target of a chin. Eh? 15 and 4, he hails.
Nelson right here in Los Angeles, so a lot of his hometown fans here to root him on. Chavez has been looking to this man to fight Sandoval because Sandoval has fought on television a couple of times and has gotten more recognition. So this is a big fight for Chavez. Round two, scheduled for 10 rounds here at the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles, California. I'm Bob Sheridan. So glad you're with us. Hope you're enjoying tonight's boxing card. Don't forget, we've got the WBC World Super Bantamweight Championship coming up. Next month, Carlos De Leon and S.P. Gordon, Cruiserweight Championship fight in the Don King Sports and Entertainment Network. But right now, we've got Julio Chavez and Romero Sandoval mixing it up pretty good here in round two of this scheduled tenor. Lightweights. The expression on the face of Chavez never changes as he allows Sandoval to work downstairs on him. And then the left hook catches him. Right hand scores again. Left hook again. He really mixes it up. He works downstairs, then comes back upstairs with the left hand. Wow, with the left scores with the right hand. Light right hand scores again. Left hook sets it up. Chavez is at his best when he sets up his left hand. Sets up his right with the left. He scores now and rolls. Referee moving in to stop the contest, I believe. No. This is one of those situations where it's a standing eight count. Remember, in the state of California, the standing eight count is allowed. When he sees a man getting hurt, he's not going down for the boxer's safety's sake, and yet uh, thinks he still has enough steam to continue. Chavez really pouring it on here, scoring almost at will with lefts and rights to the body of the head. Watch Chavez try to set up the right hand. He scores the left. Oh, good right hand. You won't see Sandoval get up from this one. I don't think that he'll be able to continue. He's back up. And now in the corner, they say, that's it. The referee, John Thomas, holds up his hand. And no way could Sandoval recover from that right hand. A vicious right hand shot. So Julio Cesar Chavez, now we know who you are. And hopefully some of the sanctioning bodies in boxing will know who you are. His record is now 34-0 with 33 knockouts. 34-0, my friends, and 33 knockouts. We're going to show you, this is the first knockdown. Really good right hand. Back with the left. Watch him, another good right hand. Left hand and right follows up with the left. And finally, he gets the standing eight count. Referee wisely moving in. Watch this. He starts pouring in. He works to the body. Back up. The left hook scores. Misses with the right hand. Misses again, but spins his head. Now he sets him up again. Sandoval trying to keep his hands busy, but gets nailed with the left. That's the right hand that did it. It was all over when that right hand showed you. It was showed to you again. The left is good. The left is good. Right misses. Now watch for the right coming up here. Right after he hooks his arm around there. Left hand graze him. Bam, there's the right hand that ends it. That fight was all over when that right hand landed. The left hook just finished him off, and he started to crumble down. All right, All right boxing fans, fans we have the time. In round number two, after one minute, 58 seconds, your referee, John Thomas, in charge of the ring. Stopping the bout, and the knockout winner, remaining undefeated, Julio Cesar Chavez. The next fight coming up is going to feature a fellow that I talked about at the top of the show, Robert Jeep 